Hey guys, welcome back to another low production episode of Mr. Dong TV. In this episode, I want to talk to you about cheap mods that you can do to your car. Let's go. Excuse me in this video because the car is super dirty. The weather in Sydney has been complete atrocious for the last few months, so I haven't bothered cleaning up the car. There's a lot of carbon, there's a lot of soot coming out of the exhaust, and it's just baked onto the car. I promise my car isn't always this dirty, but let's get into the video. Now, some of these mods are quite specific to my car. I'm going to try to keep the description and the titles of each of these mods as general as possible so that you can apply this to your car even if it's not a race. Okay, so first up is the lip kit. It's the first thing that I did when I got this car. I got the front lip. And I also got the side skirts for the car. Now the front lip and the side skirts are STI style. They're not genuine STI, but they are STI style. But that saves me a lot of money. The front lip costed me about 180 bucks. Whereas the side skirts costed me, I think 200. So pretty good deal, considering that the front lip alone from STI cost about five, six, maybe 700 bucks. So I reckon that's a good deal. Lip and the side skirts are really easy to install. Basically, it's just a few bolts underneath, bang, 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 a few screws, screw them on, and you're good to go. <clears throat> so, for a total of $380, I got the side skirts and the front lip, and I reckon it changes the look of the car so much, it makes it look so much lower. Really cool stuff. Definitely a must if you want to modify your car. Alright, so I've also got these rear spats. I actually got these off of AliExpress and again they're really simple there's just a few bolts going on underneath a few screws and they stick on and these cost me about $35 ruse. For $35 ruse, you get both sides and they just fit on underneath the skirt and I reckon they look so much better than the STI style ones because in the STI style ones, they come up and they cover the sides of the car. Whereas this, it's just the plate underneath. And I reckon that looks so much cooler. Alright, yeah, so 30 bucks. So far, a total of $410 on the lip kit. Next up on the lip kit is this STI rear diffuser. Now, unlike my other parts, this is actually genuine. I got this off of the Facebook Marketplace was brand new from the guy that I bought it off he hadn't used it and it only cost me $150 ruse so keep an eye out on the Facebook marketplace here's a video of when I installed it this rear diffuser being from Subaru fits on perfectly and is really easy to install you just need to remove a few clips to take off the bumper then attach the bracket which hold the diffuser together now these ones are absolutely brand new, look at that. Second hand, well, yeah, got it off the marketplace, but they haven't been used. They're so good. All brand new, not a single scratch. All the bolts are still in there. All right, so it is on. The car's not even back together yet, but it looks so good. This is the only actual OEM STI stuff that I've got on my car. Everything else is off the market. So winner winner chicken dinner. Let's put it back together. Okay, so keep an eye out on the Facebook marketplace. You might find some gems like this. Again, $150 for something that was brand new. It was still packaged up. 
it hadn't been used and really good stuff another cheap mod for your car is a weighted shift knob and i know this only applies to manual drivers but it is definitely one of the best mods that you can get for your car now i got this shift knob from we are likewise i got it on sale on the imperfect section for about 105 dollars honestly it doesn't look imperfect at all it looks brand new normally these about 150 bucks i got it off the imperfect section for 105 an extra four dollars for these little adapters to suit my car and honestly it's the best bang for buck mod if you drive a manual car and the, the stock shifter on this car I reckon is just absolute crap and having something that is weighted just helps you smash it into gears so much more easily when you're going on a spirited drive well I think this is about 500 close to 600 grams and it's just so good when you're driving <laughs> Uh, it's just so good and it's, it makes shifting so effortless definite must so next up on this list is LED lighting LED lighting so here I've got an F1 brake light and again I got this off of AliExpress and I think this was about $40 or $35 shipped to Sydney, Australia when I got this. It was really cool. Now, from the factory, my model came with just a fog light and it didn't blink. You had to flick a switch and it just always stayed on. With this one, when you step on the brakes, it blinks and it's really, really cool. And I think this is really cool, especially for the people who like to tailgate. And the F1 brake light is really easy to install. You just slot it in there. There are some wires that you run to back of your trunk and it just follows along and you splice into the wires for your brake lights next up on LED lighting is the LED reverse lights I don't know why on such a modern car Subaru from the factory put the yellow halogen bulbs LED lights are so much more efficient they're so much brighter and they give up less heat and I don't know why Honestly, there's no excuse for a manufacturer to not use LED. And I think this cost me about 20 bucks, not even, for the pair. 20 bucks for that. Also got these license plate lights, the LEDs, and again, I got them off AliExpress for about 12 Australian dollar roos. Really cheap. They're the whole housing, so it's not just a bulb. You actually got to replace the whole housing on either side and it's really easy for 15 bucks you can't go wrong they're so much brighter than the stock lights and they just light up the backup camera when you're reversing as well and they look really good at night i'll just put up some photos and they're really easy to install all you got to do is remove your boot liner there are a few bolts that you got to remove in order to get access to this plate up here this little panel once you undo those bolts you pull the panel off and you can remove the whole housing of the stock license plate lights and you chuck those in and again 15 Australian dollars so so good I've also got these LED fog lights again off of eBay I think about 30 bucks for the pair on both sides uh, pretty cool stuff and also I got these sea lights completely DIY sea lights that have indicators on them as well for I think $60 off of Aliexpress and I did it myself it took me about six hours to do both sides Honestly, I wouldn't do it again. I don't think it's worth it. But 60 bucks if you like the sea lights. Now, while I am talking about cheap mods for your car, notice how these mods are all cosmetic mods and not performance mods. All right now, money is money. Now, everyone has a different financial situation. So we all try to save money where we can. I'm a teacher, and in Australia, teachers don't get paid that much. To be honest, I get paid peanuts. So I try to save money where I can. 
when it comes to performance mods though, I don't think you should skimp out on that because that will affect how smoothly or how safely your car run. If you want to see some proper performance mods, you can check out my other videos. Alternatively, fellow Aussie Matt over at WRX Cult bought an STI last year and he just lurched and spent a whole heap of money on mods for his car. And he's done some really cool performance mods to his car and it's an absolute beast. It's really cool. Go check out his channel. All right, so next up, on cheap mods for your car is a steering wheel cover. As you can see, my car, well, my steering wheel already has a cover on it. It's a suede kind of cover. So I had to stitch it on by hand with a needle and some thread. There's so many different styles them. For this one, I went with full suede with the red thread and this 12 o'clock mark. The best thing about this one is that it's only $30. <laughs> 30 bucks from AliExpress. The only problem is that it takes so damn long to do it. Now, why would you want to go to something like this? Well, now the sock steering wheel is pretty good, but I have seen reports and seen people with steering wheels that started flaking or leather started peeling after about three or four years. So I just wanted to protect it for a little bit. And also it adds a little bit of girth, a little bit of thickness to the steering wheel which is great for spirited driving. So last time I did it, I stitched it on while the steering wheel was still attached to the car and that took so long. This time I'm just gonna take the steering wheel off and I'm gonna show you how to install it. Actually, I'm just going to put in a time lapse of when I removed it. There are some really good videos on how to remove the steering wheel that I'll leave in the description box just below that like button. Here I'm just cutting the stitches so I can take off the old cover that I previously had on the steering wheel. So as you can see, it's really plain. What I'm changing for is something that is a combination of leather and suede. I don't think this is real leather, I don't think this is real Alcantara. Honestly, I don't care, it's 30 bucks. It's just to keep this clean and keep this new. If I ever want to sell the car or just in case um, or even just to stop the leather from peeling right? and in girth this is so good all right so basically you just wrap it around oh, and obviously you want this to be at the top the 12 o'clock marker you want that to be dead in the center stitching the cover together is really easy the kit comes with instructions but you just need to follow a crisscross pattern it's just annoying and takes a really long time to do it up on this list is cheap mud flaps now I got this set of mud flaps for 30 bucks off of eBay the big brands that do proper mud flaps for this car cost about 300 bucks so I paid 10% of that for this and that does come with a caveat a really big caveat the reason why those big brand mud flaps cost so much is because they come with brackets to suit this car. For the front, there is a bracket or a metal plate that goes across down the bottom that secures the mud flap to the bracket and the bracket will secure the mud flap to the car. And then you just bolt it on at the front there, at the top there. At the back, there's a bracket that goes from up here it goes down and it's a big L-shaped bracket that goes through, up and underneath the back bumper to secure it in place. And that's why it costs so much for the big brands. What I did is got some sheet metal, got some cardboard, mocked up the brackets for the back and the front, spent about three, four hours doing trial and error, try to figure out the best bracket for this and I just made it myself. I saved so much money, it was just some sheet metal that I had laying around the house. Mocked up a template with some cardboard, got an angle grinder, just cut it out. And then Bob's your uncle. Right. Yeah, they're not the best mud flaps in the world, but they are completely functional. 
so good. 30 bucks. Now that's it guys. Cheap cosmetic mods for your car. What do you think? Did I miss out on something? Are there some mods that you reckon are absolute crap and not worth the money even though they're cheap? Is there something that you've done that I didn't include on this list? Please let me know in the comment section below. If you like what you've seen, please consider liking this video or even subscribing to the channel. It would mean a lot. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in...